Hey everyone and welcome to a special little Planet Zoo video. Today we are going to build a prototype rocket that is actually featuring a chimpanzee habitat. Why? Well, because it works and because I'm quite obsessed with the development around SpaceX and the SN9 slash SN10 and just the Starship project in general. So um, what I set out to do today is to build the current prototype SN9, which is about to have its major launch right now or actually today. Um, I didn't plan that in the beginning, to be honest. When I was starting this build last week, it was actually meant to be flying already on Friday or actually on Thursday, but um, several uh, required improvements were not given um, so that I couldn't uh, leap into uh, mid-air I should say well actually just 10 kilometers of a hop but then also testing the landing before we talk what we're doing let's me let me just give you like a little quick uh, background so what is SN9 what is SpaceX for those of you who don't know I mean what are you doing here why did you even click on that video but in case you don't know um, the SN9 is the ninth actually well it's not exactly the ninth but it's the ninth in a series of uh, Starship products prototypes, which is a fully reusable rocket to launch into space, at least that's what it is set out for. It's a completely unique project that is um, featuring a very own produced um, engine called the Raptor engine by SpaceX, which is going to be um, featuring uh, three of them uh, under the space, uh, the um, actually the Starship and um, three furthermore um, kind of uh, uh, vacuum ones for like in mid space. Um, this is what you're doing, and then uh, this is basically used to fly to Mars ev eventually, but also to fly to the Moon. Uh, and this project is currently under development, and I think it is the most, <laughs> the most broadcasted and um, uh, kind of showcased uh, project of that sense, uh, because you can find millions and millions of live streams about it. Everyone is documenting it, and it's so cool because you can see so many things. However, the Starship itself is a at the moment, 50 meters tall and 9 meter wide in diameter, um, a spaceship uh, made out of stainless steel. And this has several reasons. It's kind of cheap to do some rapid prototyping and also it withstands all the forces that is um, going to be uh, upon it when it would launch into the atmosphere of the Earth again eventually. Um, so these things have to be considered. And this one is featuring, as we will see later, um, several little things in order to make it aerodynamically uh, you know, efficient. Uh, so because it is basically, it's not really landing per se as you would expect it, um, as it was with the space shuttle of NASA. It is more likely doing a controlled falling in the style of Buzz Lightyear um, in the first Toy Story. You know, it's kind of fallen, but in style. Um, this is what you do. And then there are some flaps to the top and to the bottom part of this rocket, and it's kind of maneuvering it uh, down to the Earth. And by doing so, it is slowing down the whole thing. Um, and then at the very end, it's uh, kind of of doing a little flop maneuver where it is then uh, turning around to be landing on the legs again. So pretty crazy things going on there. Um, so in case you're interested, uh, the uh, current launch should be around now. I don't know when exactly it is. Um, because I uh, just decided to record it today. It was actually meant to be re um, released tomorrow, but uh, since it is happening today, I thought, you know, give it to you. Maybe you can use it during the period of waiting and the, until the launch um, yeah, happens. Uh, just as of now, the crane, the big crane that uh, brought SN10 to the launch pad um, is moved back to the facility. So at this point, I think the evacuation of the village is going to start, and then um, later on, there will be more preparation. So I'm safe to say that I'm I will catch it, but uh, I don't know, maybe the time this video is going live, we are already way further in the progress. Um, I, I would say I'm also going to include a link to the various live streams, but if you're interested, just type in SN9 live stream and you will see multiple of those. And also SpaceX is going to turn on the live stream eventually, just um, like a few minutes before launch, so you can watch it over there as well. But that's enough for the background. Let's talk about what I'm doing here and why I'm doing this in Planet Zoo. Well, I think why am I doing this in Planet Zoo is pretty easy. That is my go-to game when it comes to do crazy stuff. So um, yeah, we're building a rocket ship here in this game because we can. And I thought, you know, um, it would be iconic to have um, this as a chimpanzee habitat. And we are speaking of a functioning habitat that is um, usable by these lovely little creatures. And at this time, they are not going to be sent to space um, as kind of a very uh, unlikely event or like, let's say, um, something that is not really nice to see. So we are not abusing the animals this time. What we are going to do this time is we're giving them a habitat within this prototype. Um, it was meant to be like a little joke because SpaceX was waiting 
so long for the FFA um, approval, uh, FAA approval, not two A's, not two F, me stupid, okay? Um, but then it uh, turned out that they got it. Um, I don't know if it was over the weekend or, you know, I think it was somewhere over Monday that they got the improvement um, or the approval for it. And uh, my joke didn't work anymore. I just wanted to kind of use this and it's like, while we wait for the improvement, we can just turn it into a habitat. Why not? So, but yeah, whatever, it's still working. Um, and I think I'm gonna make this like an ongoing project, um, which I will jump into every now and then once there is like a bigger uh, progress made on the prototypes, we might just change this thing because in fact this is modeled right after some uh, sketches that it's not like um, made just like this you know out of my head or whatever no I um, actually took some inspiration and um, this is actually pretty cool because I um, first of all I made a mistake uh, which is um, pretty uh, pretty doom, uh, doom, <laughs> dump, um, the German in me, um, and I made the spec from the MK1, which was the first spec they had, and um, I took the reference by Raphael Adami, who's uh, one of the well-known uh, people when it comes to making sketches of the current variant of the SN prototypes, but there is also a newer version of the SN8, which I took now as an inspiration, and um, this is basically the exact same thing over here. The only difference is that they're using um, helium now as uh, a pressure um, kind of thing for the nose because they had some issues with SN8 um, landing it because there was a loss of um, pressure in the header tank, and so to avoid that this time they are using uh, helium instead so that should uh, fix the issues they had and uh, i mean this is just for me per personally this is not really important because well you don't see it in here anyways so yeah i was changing the flaps then eventually because um i i built them completely wrong but it is um like measurement wise it is exactly the right sizes i took always these uh, walls over here as a reference and then i could model it exactly the way it should be so taking really the uh, real life measurements and yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out honestly it just looks very cool. The only downside here is I needed to use like these very glossy um, pieces in the game. We didn't really have that many or we don't really have that many glossy pieces and I, I was testing around with a lot more other metal pieces but the problem is if you use some more matte ones um, this kind of looks ridiculous and also I'm at this point this is not the final nose cone version. I'm doing another nose cone which is a tiny bit less smooth but therefore looks a lot better when it comes to the shininess of it and um, yeah I was doing certain things here um, that didn't uh, yeah satisfy me so I was changing it eventually which I'm uh, pretty happy with you can see this is the fence piece I was using um, which is kind of cool when it comes to making it really look smooth but then again it didn't really look nice enough in the overall picture and so I changed it afterwards but yeah Overall, I'm very happy with how it comes out and also I'm very happy with the overall atmosphere of this build because this is really looking like the launch site of SpaceX and yeah, I'm really looking into continuing this and make, yeah, maybe turn this into like a little zoo. Why not? Wouldn't that be a fun thing? You know, we, we could experiment with a lot more things and I'm quite sure that Grace would also appreciate that um, <laughs> and we can, we can just do some funny things in here. But anyways, it's... Um, it's been really funny to see that I ended up using this planter over here. Like, you know, I had no idea what exactly could work, but then I found that this planter has a very nice texture to the outside. And yes, I know I'm using a freaking planter for the nose cone of a rocket. Why would you even do this? I don't know. It, it just worked and it looked the best. You can see here now, uh, you know, rotating them into each other, it gives it exactly the same little shininess while not being as um, broken up as the other one is. You can see them now side by side and I was quite happy, but I wasn't so happy with the format, so or with, with the shape I should say, and so I fixed the shape a little bit here and there, just making sure that everything looks nice. And then I used something else to make the top very smooth indeed. And yeah, I'm, I'm just very happy with what you can do in this game still. It almost is like a 3D modeling program. If I would only be that good in a 3D modeling program, I would have done this in there as well and just done an animation myself. But I don't know, um, in, in this I would not have been able to turn that into a chimpanzee habitat. And now it is a chimpanzee habitat. You will see in the real-time part, it's kind of funny to see the chimpanzees climbing in, uh, in and out. 
What I will also do, I will also do um, a few more variants where we are going to build really the interiors of the spaceship. So at this point, I just loosely turned that into a habitat. But in the next couple of uh, months, I should say, when the development goes on and we have some more reference for interior of the spaceship, I will actually um, focus a bit more on that as well because that's also a lot of fun. One thing though I want to add is I was looking for a lot of references when it comes to the indoor or uh, interior section of the spaceship. But you have to note that there are two different things. Um, there is the spaceship as it is, or the starship I should say. Um, the starship as it stands right now um, has a Mars program or like a Mars specification and a Moon specification. What we are doing right now I guess is the Mars specification um, which is a little bit different from the Moon one. Um, and I guess also in terms of space and so on because obviously you would need to have some more uh, capacity for like fuel and stuff to go to Mars while for the moon you don't need that much but um, you also have like a different atmosphere and gravity and all that kind of stuff um, will feed into how the specification of the starship will be however um, it, it still means that there are like a million different variants of interior designs out there and I couldn't really settle for one. They're all great, but I'm quite sure that they're all based in guessing. So unless Elon decides to tweet a, an early engine render of how the interior should look like, uh, I'm not really sure how it would look, but well, I think at the very end um, we'll find something suitable and then uh, build it according to this, but yeah. So now we come to some rapid um, terraforming over here. I was just, you know, I was just doing some some little Boca Chica here. <laughs> it's like the mini version of Boca Chica. Honestly, I didn't I didn't even pay attention to the real map or whatever. I just wanted to create the feeling. That's about it. Uh, I might go back and just try to remodel it a bit more accurate at some point. But for the moment, I'm just satisfied with how that turned out to look right now. So uh, yeah, and then we went into making the launch pad. Even though again, this one is just made free. Um, out of my head. I don't even know if it would withstand these forces or whatnot. I just built a kind of little iron landing pad design. Again, it's just like it's just like here to give the feeling and to give it um, a bit more of the you know looks that you would really guess uh, get from from Boca Chica over there. So yeah, I'm I'm still very happy with how that turns out. Um, sometimes you know sometimes you don't even need to go into that much crazy detail and it still would look good and uh, yeah over here you can see I'm, I'm just putting down some facilities because eventually we'll need them and I can only tell you guys that in the real time part you will see a lot a lot more um, how that ended up being because I did some more stuff as you guys wished I'm now um, yeah changing even more into leaving some cool bits out of the time lapse and then giving it to you later on as in the real time part. And this is exactly what we are going to do now. We are going to jump over into the real time part and I hope you enjoyed the time lapse so far. And now I'm going to show you how this all turned out to be looking in the final version. I mean, you've seen quite something from the thumbnail, I guess, but um, this time I just needed to go f all in with the thumbnail because it just looks too good. These shots you can take there. Oh my God, they're so good. But yeah, let's have a look how it looks in the real time part. All right, so here we are in the real time part and you can see this is how the whole facility looks right now. So I made this wonderful beach over here. We have some flamingos roaming around just because I thought that would look a bit more nice if you have them uh, roaming around. I'm just hoping that they will get a lot of babies and so on so that this area is pretty cramped because it kind of looks cool if we have the babies that are white and I'm just going to stop them then from aging because that would look like a few different animals and not like flamingos and that would look actually really like those that are roaming around in Boca Chica uh, rather than this. Um, I'm just like a big fan of how that turned out to be looking here with the beach and so on. Um, unfortunately the draw distance of this nose cone is a tiny bit of a problem and you can see I uh, took this one and to turn the flaps inside because that's how it is normally and the flaps are only outside for flight so this is what it is today and then you can see this is the habitat and you can see there are basically no chimpanzees around because they are all in here I guess so yeah there you can see they are all living in their wonderful house look this is this is our spaceship house for them and they can just enjoy their wonderful spaceship and I I love I love that they use it this way. So we've got a lot of baby chimpanzees. They are big fans. I can see how crazy big this whole habitat is. There's like, there's even another layer and uh, we can go even one higher up. Um, there is some drinks and so on. 
and then if you look down look this one is going to have like a little drink here in the wonderful spaceship right you're just gonna have a drink or what are you doing there's a big one mama or daddy is coming to have a drink look oh this is so cool yeah just come up here have a drink look at that nose cone from the inside oh my god that's like psychedelic oh my god <laughs> what is this trippy thing jesus oh my god oh my lord Oh, she's as, as if I've taken drugs. Oh boy, look at this madness. But yeah, you can see this is um, how the how the starship uh, looked from the inside. Um, and, you know, this is just for testing reasons. But you can actually see how much space there is in. Um, there's actually, it's quite big, to be honest. Um, the 9 meter and diameter, they, they, they offer some space. You can really tell how that would work. And I took the chimpanzees because they have quite a nice size when it comes to um, the apes that we would use in here. Uh, so yeah, that's rather cool. And then we have the chimpanzees obviously living in this thing. I'm uh, I'm a big fan of this. Like how they chill in here, just enjoy their time. Uh, use this as a climbing, have the toys to play with. And then we go all the way down. You can see this one sitting down here below the starship. This is kind of cool. I mean, you would, you would technically have these engines in here then. But um, I mean, surely I don't have them. But I mean, just just look at that. Just freaking look at this underneath. I just, I just adore that because this is so cool that they're just sit sitting here chilling. Oh, look at them. They're bonding, like doing something like this. This is so cool. What a shot this is. I'm a big fan. I'm a fan. I, can I have, can I have an autograph of you guys? Uh, if, if we could just have a photo where we're both on. Yes, look, we've got the starship on the right hand side and with them bonding on the left hand side. That's so cool. Look. Oh my god, I just love the animation of this plane. It's so cool. And then, <laughs> it's just, it's so cute. Baby is like, no, I don't want to. Leave me alone, mama. Okay, so, so she's just licking herself. Okay, that sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. It's like her, you know, her fur and stuff. Don't, don't, don't think about it, okay? Just don't. I, I tell you, don't. Look, this is kind of cool here with the, with the apes down here as well, like seeing the animals. And then with the, gosh, this is like apocalypse movie, apocalypse movie, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, that's looking absolutely fancy. I'm, <laughs> I'm quite blown away by the simplicity of it, but still it looks absolutely fancy. It looks really, really dang cool. We've got the chimpanzees living in here. They have their wonderful habitat and then... They can climb inside, they can enjoy this. I'm, yeah, yeah, okay. I should stop talking because that's going too far. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is my little uh, Boca Chica SpaceX uh, Starship special, if you will. And, and now I'm ending the recording because I definitely want to... Uh, not to miss the hop today so uh, yeah in case you guys liked it as always remember to smash the like button and if you're not subscribed and you want to see more crazy stuff like that and also different games then make sure to subscribe that helps the channel as always and i wish you guys a very happy watching of <laughs> uh, the spaceship hop today and stay safe everyone and uh, we talk to each other in the next one have a good one goodbye everyone.